The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. How many times have we said to ourselves or heard others say, I would like to be a more faithful Christian, more faithful to Jesus' teaching of nonviolent love of friends and enemies. I would like to respond more fully to suffering humanity. I do not want to be irresponsible and ignore or participate in homicide. But what about my family, my children, my wife, my husband, my parents? It would not be fair to them. To what extent has the Christian family become one of the primary obstacles to living a faithful Christian life? Jesus foresaw this possibility and explicitly warned that the faithful following of God's will as revealed by him could cause hardships within families. He also said that this was not a legitimate excuse for not following God's will. The early martyrs had to walk with their children into the Colosseum. They had to look into the eyes of their little boys and girls as they all waited to be disemboweled by starving beasts or torched by obedient soldiers. When Jesus' eyes met his mother's eyes on his way to execution, did he and his mother not experience the unbearable distress of the crucified Colosseum family. Is the crucified Colosseum family only a relic, or is it a permanent condition in the life of the church as long as the beast possessed by the lust for power and the desire for wealth roams the earth? If the crucified Colosseum family does not exist today, does that mean the beast has been pacified, harnessed, or extinguished? Do not all political and economic tyrants of all ages try to use the family to control the adult population? Can Christian family love and relationship find any lasting security in any source other than unconditional obedience to God's will as revealed by Jesus Christ? Could Jesus have found any lasting life with Mary outside the cross of nonviolent love? Is the beast of power and wealth interested in preserving and protecting the family? Or is it interested in manipulating it to satisfy its own diabolical appetites? Is the crucified Colosseum family only a relic? Or is it a permanent condition in the life of the church as long as beast filled with the lust for power and the lust for luxury wealth roam the earth? 